Charles, of course, was also once the Prince of Wales. And as CTV's Genevieve Beauchemin found out firsthand in Wales itself, there is a growing debate about whether that title should exist at all. Picturesque Carnap, perched on the shoreline of Wales, is preparing to all but ignore the king's coronation. Alan Wynne Jones is the town clerk and a historian. He's spending public money in a time of huge deprivation within society on a festival of him. It's very strange. This just outside the mighty castle wants the stage for a lavish ceremony in honor of then Prince Charles. On Canada Day 1969, days before the moon landing, 500 million people watched the investiture of Charles as Prince of Wales. The symbol of sovereignty. I, Charles, Prince of Wales. Pomp and circumstance in large part designed to quell growing nationalist sentiment in this part of the UK. It was just spectacular. It was like for a little girl of 12, the town's mayor, Maria Sarnatsky, snapped these photos as she stood outside castle walls with her class. It was a prince wave to me, and that was, um, it was just amazing. It was something I'll never, ever forget. But now she believes the title of Prince of Wales should be abolished. The fortress palace was built in 1283 by Edward I as he battled the Welsh princes. It's now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting thousands of tourists each year. We've grown up with it. Yeah, we've just been Yeah, we've grown up, grown up with the royals. And... But history weighs heavily on many in this town of 10,000 living under the shadow of this castle. To some, it's a towering reminder of imperial military and economic power. It is a huge symbol, symbol of, of oppression rather than of civic pride. Doing Gobishon and Ochim and Hai and What did you say? Welcome. Welcome to, to Wales, and I hope you enjoy our country. Many here say Charles should never have been Prince of Wales, a title first bestowed as a blow to those who were conquered. But how can you bring an English person into a Welsh country and say that he's a Welsh prince? It's not. The stone castle has just undergone a three-year revamp. There's an elevator. It's more accessible now. Modernized, as many here say, the monarchy itself should be. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Carnarvon, Wales.